threat of the flat rate master. Oh, wait. Got to put my shell hat on. All right, that's better. Got the Milwaukee hat. Now we can talk about Milwaukee. Full joke. Every, you know, doesn't matter whose tools you talk about. Matco, I've been accused of, of shilling for them because I wore their hat. Top six Milwaukee tools simply because I couldn't eliminate for my workflow. And this is the stuff that I use all the time, constantly, what I grab most of all. So your mileage may vary, but let's get into it. So let's talk half inch drive. Now Milwaukee recently released, not too long ago, an upgraded, you know, full size half inch impact. I still don't use it as my go-to gun. <laughs> the mid torque is what I grab. The mid torque just does 90% of what I need it to do. So I only grab the full size one when I need it. <laughs> so the mid torque basically is my go-to for 90% of taking wheels off, suspension, etc., etc. If I had to buy to replace my tools, this is definitely something I would buy and replace immediately. It's a lot lighter than the big boy and day to day wears a lot less on you does 90% of what the big boy does. Now this next one's probably gonna be a little controversial because I don't normally grab the stubbies. I've kind of, where I use them, the stubbies really aren't strong enough for what I use them for. So I generally grab the compact 3 8 instead of the stubbies for a lot of what I do. Now I know a lot of people will go, the stubbies are really useful, they are but this guy gets grabbed more often. So it's gotta be on the list. The other day I got asked on stream why I use quarter inch so much, why I talk about quarter inch so much. And that's because, well, anything below 15 millimeter, I use quarter inch. It's more compact. The impact swivels I got from Matco make it easy to get into certain places. And you know, it's just easier, smaller, compact get into the weird places I need to get into. So in that vein, I got two quarter inches on this list. Now for quarter inch ratchet, extended reach, high speed, does pretty much what I need it to do. I don't need a lot of torque with quarter inch. So it's my go-to. Now I have kind of gone back and forth between that and the insider ratchet, but the pull out of the adapters when you're using it on a socket, kind of is annoying, so I tend to just gravitate towards the regular quarter inch. Now for somebody that can only afford one ratchet, that's definitely the one I would recommend simply because it is so versatile and has so many features. But for me, I grab the quarter inch instead. Now also, <laughs> gotta go with Milwaukee quarter inch impact. I use this a lot, period, end of story. If it'll fit and it's below 15 millimeters, this'll pretty much do the job I need it to do. I use it a lot for disassembly, valve covers, intake manifolds, pretty much anything that quarter inch can do, you know, pretty much anything that I can take off with this gets taken off with this down to, you know, Volkswagen parts with, you know, intake manifolds, T30s, all that kind of stuff, quarter inch impact. It, th these are, the thing is, is like, if you really look at the kind of work I do, quarter inch is d used a lot. Some because I do a lot of, you know, sensors and a lot of that kind of stuff rather than, you know, heavy mechanical alternators, starters, that kind of stuff. But speaking of starters, I still use the old fashioned, heavy duty, big headed, people liked it or didn't, 3 8 ratchet. Why? Torque, power. The high speed, the high speed extended reach fits in tighter places, but nine times out of 10 when I'm pulling this bad boy out, it's, gonna be a struggle to come out. It's engine mounts and, you know, Honda starter bolts and stuff like that, where they're just in there and I don't want to, 
Well, I don't want to shear the head off my other ratchet. And nine times out of 10, like Honda starters that are under the intake on, you know, two fours, those bolts are in there. Normally I break them loose with a regular ratchet and then try to get them out with the Milwaukee. Sometimes that doesn't even work because they're badly corroded or whatever. But those are my go-to top six Milwaukee power tools. So eclectic little bunch. And I know I'm a little unique on the quarter inch stuff, but just figured I'd give you all an update on the Milwaukee stuff that I use constantly. So hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.